I don't think a film can achieve this, this level of immortality without it being a, a case of sort of catching lightning in a bottle where all the right collaborators are suddenly together to make something so special. Um, and I wanted to ask you about a, a few things that really stand out. Here we in, go, yes. No, a few things that really stand out in this film. All of the action scenes that you do, which obviously you're doing yourself without a stunt Yeah, double. that's true, yeah. Oh, uh, I will tell you, when I did the last scene, the last, sorry. No. When I did the last, um, you know, when sadly the end, the right end comes to it, <laughs> Joe Lewis said to me, Peggy, do stop. You're putting so much stuff on your face. I was black, black, I, which, you know, was because one was going through this, I was going through all that water. I did fall down and it was very hard, you know, and very emotional even because you feel the emotion. You knew they were looking for us and that is quite rightly so, of course. And that is, you felt that emotion, which came through, I hope. Did, did, yes. Did you fall down a lot in this film? Uh, was, was Joe Lewis telling you no, when no, you're no. going to fall? No, or were no, you just, no, no, were you we falling thought, on your yeah, own? Yeah, and poor old John had to pick me up, oh God. Come on, you know, come on. And the handbag, you notice I had the handbag. Always dropping Typical. the damn yeah, thing. Yeah, I know, I know. Typical woman, you know. Where's my handbag? <laughs> <laughs> Always the handbag. Actually, my friend has it, my good friend. She's got my handbag down here. D Tonight. Make sure you don't drop it. You go, <laughs> you're always dropping. Can you tell the audience a bit about, you may have noticed that there was like spontaneous applause at the end of the bank robbery scene, which now stands as one of the great scenes in the movies. Yeah, yeah. Can you tell us about shooting that scene? Y yes, I can. Um, we really made up the dialogue as we were, it was quite, it, it was very simple really. We made up the dialogue as we went along and Joe Lewis, the director, let us do that. He explained to us and we knew anyway because we'd obviously worked on our scripts and knew when we were going to be, what it was. We got in the car, we drove, we spoke, we, um, he, John got out, Bart got out, uh, he went into the um, bank, and I said, oh gosh, look, here's, here's, rather like if you park somewhere, you shouldn't be, I don't know if this happens to you, but it does happen this to me This is San in Francisco, London. it happens, <laughs> yes. And you say, oh my Lord, look who's coming, how can I get out of this? I mean, obviously this was a different situation, shall we say. Um, there I was dressed up in my outfit, and uh, the policeman comes along, you know. Uh, there was no dialogue, we got out, I got out of the car and said hi or something, and um, they looked at my guns, as you know, and I looked at his and he said, don't touch, you know, and that was that. And then you got in the car and we, Bart got in and I said, go ahead and drive and everything. It was all really spontaneous. And it was a, it was a very long scene, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. How long? It's so famous it was, about yeah. it. It's like, it's and it was one take. Minutes. We had one take. Yes. But I did have, <laughs> I, I did have in the back of the car the sound, uh, naturally they wanted the sound and so they had a, mi a microphone. A lot of you would know all this. Not, not this, not this sort, I mean they had a, and where was the camera then? It was, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, there was no back end on the car. No. That they actually oh, had built right. a platform yeah. so with wheels I with the camera round. on it. Yes, they, yep, they must have seen some of it and then I turned round. But the chaps, my friends, all of them in the car, they were a bit nervous about my driving. <laughs> but it was all right. <laughs> it, was, it was all right, but it was, it, you know. Big, but I, yes, I used to drive, obviously. I still drive. And I, and I just want you to know, when we were saying, uh, is Peggy going to come up to the stage with an escort or on her own, I said, let her come up on her own, because you do know, 
she came here all the way from London by herself to be here. So it's pretty fantastic. But anybody who wants to be an escort, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a lovely one here who has been escorting me, but um, he felt he couldn't manage the stairs. So I thought I could help him, but it was all right. It was all right. I, I, anything else? Yes. Yeah, I thought I want, so. I'll stay here. Yes, I'll stay here. I do want to ask you, you mentioned John Dahl, your co-star, who makes you look good and you make him look good. Yeah. Uh, I think he gives a really amazing performance in this film. I think so. I th don't you? I think John is good. What can you tell us about John Dahl? Uh, uh, well, I mean, he's a, he was a very good uh, stage actor. And of course, I was really a stage actress. I wasn't a film actress so much, really. I don't know. I, I, made, I made films, but I wasn't... I don't think I've never considered so myself. I mean, when I saw what you started off with all those famous people, I mean, I feel nothing. When you see those actresses from the clips, Jean Tierney, um, I can't think of, you know what I mean. Oh, they were, oh, and John Garfield, oh. <laughs> Don't get her started about John Garfield. <laughs> well, I did, maybe they, he might have been d uh, too um, old for them, if you know what I mean, you know, but I mean, because one's got to remember. But as actor, but when you see those people that I saw here this evening, I sort of felt, you know, I feel truthfully nobody. No, because they were great stars, most of them, weren't they? Y yes, they, they were, were. But, they but were, so yes. are you, Peggy. Well, but, yes, like but no. You, you, have, you have done what the movies are all about. It, yeah. You have achieved immortality with this film. It's, a, it's fantastic. Don't make me cry. <laughs> Please, it does. Emotionally, it is. You don't realize what it is like to sit here at my stage in life, to have come from England. It's amazing, amazing. You're very welcome, <laughs> And my thanks to Eddie and all his helpers who've helped me. And I've left my heart in San Francisco. Yeah. <laughs>